The aim of this video is to show you how to identify and replace the worn parts included in the D9 service kits. There are three service kits available, the D9 MSK, the D9 Motor Service Kit, the D9 ISK, the Dosatron D9 Injection Service Kit, and the D9 BSK, the D9 Basic Service Kit. We recommend you service your Dosatrons annually, however, it would be a good idea to always hold the D9 MSK and the D9 ISK service kits on farm in case of unforeseen breakdowns. These kits can be ordered directly from Bilboos Limited on 0800 80 90 94 or through your local merchant store and they will be dispatched from Bilboos immediately. In this video we will be looking at the D9 MSK, the D9 motor service kit. The parts included in this kit are the upper piston ring, the lower piston ring, the peak spring, the housing seal, the valve seals, and the push rod seal. First, we take our motor. With the plunger rod on the bottom, turn it 90 degrees and remove it. Next, Unclip the four top valves by pushing them sideways. Take hold of the bridge at the top, pulling it up. Remove the motor assembly. Place those to the side. Now, to remove the piston lip, we have a little clip here on the side, so push that down and turn the locking ring at the top until the little clip is at the furthest point. Grab the top of the motor uh, pistons, lips and pull them up. To check if the piston rings are warm, yeah. have a look at the thickness of the lip. Okay. There should be a nice little piece of thickness, see how they're different. Okay, so this one's worn, this one's new. Place the top piston ring on the motor. Take the piston locking ring, find where the, lo lo where the clip is, put the locating lug in the clip, and turn until it clicks. Now it's locked in place. Repeat the same process with the lower piston ring. Find the little clip, push it down, give it a turn. Grab the top of the piston ring, pull it off. Once again, check the piston rings for wear. Okay, you're looking at the thickness. Take the new piston ring, put it on, take your blocking ring, find your little clip and your locating lug, sit it on the piston, turn it till it clicks. Alright, that is the piston rings replaced. Next, we will replace the push rod seal. All right. So to remove the peak spring, push it out until it comes unclipped, turn it sideways and pull it through the piston rod. Turn the seal and pull it off. Take the new seal out of the bag, put it on and turn and it's locked on. All right. So that's those two parts replaced. Now we'll replace the O-rings. For the bottom seals, turn 90 degrees, pull them out. These O-rings will be slightly tight. You may need to get an O-ring hook to remove them. Just hook them from the side, pull them out. Nice and gently, try not to damage the, the ceiling face. Uh, 
Um, you could also use something like a small screwdriver. Alright, so that's the four lower valves. Do the same to the four top valves. wear and tear on the seals, you're just looking for damage, any score marks, any indents, anything like that. Um, we just change them at a matter of course annually. So just place the seal on, put them over the top of the seal, over the top of the valve, and just run your fingers around until they click in place. Alright, nice and easy. Two. Three, four, that's your four top valves, and the same to the lower valves, up underneath, one, two, three, Place the valves, put the valves back into place. One, two, three, and four. Right, set that aside. Now to replace the peak spring. So, what we're looking for wear and tear on the peak spring is we're looking for indents on here. Okay, you can see the score marks there and how, there, how there's a lip there. On a new one, it's nice and flat. Alright. The second way we till up the peak spring is worn, we hold it next to there. So you'll see how that one there is quite stretched out. Alright? Should be nice and tight. This one here has been working and it's been stretched out over time. Um, so it loses its tension. Alright, so to replace the peak spring, we simply clip it back into the connecting rod. Place it back through the push rod and clip it onto the other side. Okay, now it's time to reinstall the motor. Take the piston rod, place it in the hole by itself. Right. Sits in there. The connecting rod sits in the pivot point here. All right. So once you put the push rod in, the connecting rod sits in the pivot point. Take the valves with the bridge place this in the motor, pushing it past the connecting rod and it wants to go in. We're making sure that the connecting rod stays in that pivot point. Okay. So put your finger in there, holding the connecting rod in the pivot point, place your thumb on the top of the pink spring, pushing it down until it clicks into place. Take your four valves, feed them back up, click them into place. They have a little little lug on the side of them, okay, so that spaces outwards. Install the plunger rod into the side, and there we have it, serviced motor. And of course, our housing o-ring goes into the top of the housing, <coughs> just in here. Okay, remove the old o-ring. Place the new o-ring in. Alright, now it's already to install. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions or any problems, um, feel free to contact our service department on 0800 80 90 94.
24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you.